Okay, my friends, another shocking revelation. Roger, once again, you know Comet 67P, I claim, is a biological body part, and it is in space, and we have seen the dragon and the fish in the desert, and they said, where did all this stuff come from? Well, I'll tell you what. The Earth itself is literally 100% biology. Tyson's showing this, the dragon is there, the fish is there, it's everywhere on the Earth. I don't think anybody can dispute that now that is of sound mind. Now, what do we have here? Apparently, at one point in time, there was a discussion, there was another planet that surrounded just outside of our area, and it exploded and created the asteroid belt. Now, let's see if that bears any semblance of fact. Don't forget now, I claim literally everything that's coming out of space and everything that's in space is body parts. As far as I could determine, I can't find anything that is not. That there was once a planet between Mars and Jupiter that was home to intelligent life. And if so... Oh, don't forget, our planet is literally alive, I believe, <clears throat> and at one time there was giant, giant, giants here, and maybe this other planet was destroyed because of those giant, giant, giants, because they were giant, 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 giant. The tendon ball that's out in space, which is common 67P, is three miles plus, I think, wide. Minus destruction had come as the result of an alien war. Maybe God said, you guys are out of control, I'm going to destroy you, and he exploded the whole planet. For us, he just drowned them. Ancient astronaut theorists say yes, and suggest that a recent NASA discovery may provide evidence that the survivors of this conflict took refuge on a solid... You see that? That's a tendon ball antithesis. All of these little pock marks, not every one of them is an impact. That is exactly what these, these tendon balls do, 100 percent. That's how they that's how they lock in under the skin. This, there was flesh around this, holding this thing in, and there was a stalk coming out of here. All right? That's comet 67P. There's all these little pock marks, and then comes up a stalk of tendinous material. There would have been bone coming out of here, and this wraps around, and that's where the muscle went, and there was tendons wrapping up to it. That's Raleigh, North Carolina. That's the size of this thing. These are the little pock marks that everybody thinks are craters. They're not always craters. Okay, my friends, as you know, I have discovered things that are just hard to anybody to get their head around. <clears throat> but in the process, I have gone back through all the ancient texts and found out that they were not kidding. And one of the things that is, was spoken about was another planet being right here in this asteroid belt. Now, I know that all I'm showing you, and I think I've already shown you or I will show you, that all these things are biological that are in the, the heavens. I'm sorry, it's what it is. <clears throat> now, how did they get there? And how did a giant dragon and a giant fish and giant dragons all over the earth get here? Maybe they tried to escape from this planet that was going to get exploded. I don't know. But this, I think there was a planet here, and I think it exploded, and I think that's what accounts for all these body parts in space. And maybe that's where these giant creatures came from that are ended up on Earth that I can't account for. I absolutely can't account for them. So don't say, oh, Roger says this and that. No, I don't. I say they're here. They're here. That I do say, absolutely. No question whatsoever. How you deal with that, I don't know. How I deal with that, I'm trying to figure it out. And I think that's a possibility. They are obviously very, very hard to believe that they could exist on Earth, just be laying around here all the time, having a good time. They must have come here to try to do... I don't know what happened. I have no idea about that. I'm not even going to speculate. But I do see an asteroid belt. I would say, as I, so far, everything I've seen that's in space is biological. And that accounts for these giant body parts, because the Earth is made out of giant bodies as well. If it exploded, we would see the same giant body parts circling around as well. Now, did God get pissed off and just say, okay, you guys, you screwed up too much? Boom, I'm blowing you up. He drowned the Earth. 
So I don't know. You have to make up your own mind of what, what you see here. But I'm just looking for clues to the mystery. That's all. All right, any anatomist will understand this. You have a layer of fleshy material, and it's soft and gushy, but it has to hold on and anchor tendons and so forth. Now, these are the little grippy spots. These are not impact craters. This is the tendinous material that runs from, this would normally would have been bloody tissuey material, and then there would have been your arm going off or whatever it was. Now, this is literally blood cells and the eroded iron oxides that are in the body. There will be some collagens and keratins and so forth there, but and some fibers, but, but primarily it's going to be bloody um, clay almost. Well, it is clay. Now, that right there, go to any anatomist and say, what would happen if I cut a muscle bundle? And say, that's exactly what would happen. You'd have these little pinchy things, and you would have a round bundle where it had gone off to attach to your shoulder or wherever. This is tendons, very obvious, and they know that they go deep into here. They say, they, they checked it with, I don't know what kind of machine they have, but they found out that these don't just stop here. They go underneath this eroded area, because that eroded from what was muscle and so forth. Because at a certain point the tendons stop, and then it goes into muscle. So here's your, here's your flesh. Here's one bundle of muscle going one way. Here's another going another way attached to a bunch of tendons. So there's a little bit of a complex organ, <clears throat> you know, in, in, in attachment here. It could be, could be a shoulder. Let's take a look at something. This comes off and they form into these fibers that are the tendons and then they turn into muscle and it's there's a lot of places and there's a lot of creatures I'm not saying it's a human creature out there a gigantic human my stuff is gigantic humans I have the DNA test to certify my stuff and I'm very very willing to have somebody look at it now right, it might be a little difficult for you to make this up but that was that's where the bone would be in the back these are like where the blood vessels go through this is the fingernail, literally the fingernail, and it's perfect. And I broke off a piece that wrapped around and created the fingerprint. There's the fingerprint. That's the fingerprint that is on the other side. This thing here wraps around like that, was wrapped around like that. And I bashed it off of there so I could get the fingerprint. And, um, and then uh, this, is the, this is the thickness of the grip skin. This is grip skin. That is different than a normal skin on your body. It's just very, very tough, very fibrous. And you see, you can see the fingerprint and the sweat pores, those little dimples there, those are the sweat pores. You can go to any anatomist, they, they, they could see this. There's no, this is no mystery here. I mean, your kid can see this. It's, it's so obvious, and it's very discouraging to see that the people that we entrusted to teach have no interest in learning. And that is, there's a foot there, there's two feet there, so I figure it's about 36, 30 inches wide. I think it's like 36 inches long. Now that's a good shot right here. These are the tendon, in, in, those are the real grippers that are right at the surface. So this at one time was all like this. Now that's apparently cooked off, because this is what's cooking off now. These are actual blood vessels. Wherever you see them shooting out rays like that, they're not just dust blowing off of there. That's being cooked. It's being cooked by the sun. And that's where those dragon balls are, and they're shooting out these vapors. And then, of course, they're bending back a little bit because it's moving through space. But th this is not just being scrubbed off the surface. Not, no way whatsoever. I'm not going to bore you with this, but trust me, this is exactly what is in chemistry of the body. Identical. And this is from the pieces they called it Kenneth and Juliet. They took from the um, Comet 67P. It's identical. This is exactly the same as your as a body. It doesn't get any sweeter than that. That's that anchoring place. That would have been where your flesh would have been. These are blood vessels that would have run up alongside of the muscles that ran up the whatever it was, arm or leg or whatever. All right, this is something that was very strange. Comet Ison, I-S-O-N. 
and they, they showed it like this, but apparently you could resolve it to that. Now, whatever that means, it said they said it went behind the sun and, and was destroyed. I believe that was the end result.